This video and the accompanying text document serve as a detailed protocol to provide you with all the information needed to implement the DNA NanoSwitch platform in your lab. The protocol will walk you through all the steps required to form DNA NanoSwitches and to use them to make on-rate and off-rate measurements on the ubiquitous biotin streptavidin system. Throughout the video, we will note where changes can be made to adapt the platform to your system of interest. In addition, we're happy to provide a free starter kit which contains all of the oligonucleotides needed to perform these measurements. The detailed contents of the kit are described in section two of the protocol. For more information about obtaining a free starter kit for your lab or classroom, visit the website in the description below. We have chosen to use 60 mer oligonucleotides to tile the 7,249 nucleotide M13 scaffold. This yields 120 60 mers and 149 mer. We've divided these oligonucleotides into two groups to avoid having to mix 121 oligos for each construct. 12 oligos evenly spaced along the backbone are each stored in their own tubes and referred to as variable regions or VARs. The remaining 109 oligonucleotides are all pre-mixed together and refer to these as backbone oligos. We have created a Snapchain DNA file which has these regions highlighted and labeled. In the Snapchain file, the bottom strand is the M13 sequence while the top strand represents the oligonucleotide sequences. Snapchain Viewer is freely available software that can be downloaded at the link on the screen. Images exported from Snapchain can be found in the protocol. Links to the Snapchain file, an Excel file with the 109 backbone oligonucleotides, and an Excel file with the 12 variable oligonucleotides can be found in the description below. Additionally, these files are available in the online supplementary materials on Nature Methods website. The starter kit includes a mixture of the 109 backbone oligos, a mixture of 3' biotinylated VAR4 and a 5' biotinylated VAR8, and a mixture of unfunctionalized versions of the remaining 10 VAR oligos. With the provided VAR oligos, you will be able to create scaffolds capable of forming loops between VARs 4 and 8 upon the addition of streptavidin. Additionally, one could use the 109 mix in conjunction with 12 separately purchased VAR oligos, or the 10 VAR mix and separately purchased VAR4 and VAR8 oligonucleotides, which can be functionalized to your specific needs. Protocols for functionalizing oligonucleotides for incorporation into the scaffold can be found in Helverson et al. 2011 and Kusa et al. 2014. In addition to the video, we also provide a written protocol for using a 109 mix, the 10 var mix, and the mix of the two biotinylated oligonucleotides to make a biotin streptavidin on rate and off rate measurement. We are excited about this method and its potential for enabling everyone to make new research discoveries in their labs. I hope you enjoyed this video protocol and that it will be helpful for implementing the DNA NanoSwitch platform in your lab.